This one's like one of my favorite videos on the internet right now. I've probably watched it 15 times. When you ruin your own pregnancy announcement by forgetting the bun in the oven. What is it? Elizabeth. What? I love you so much. <laughs> Why would you put a single roll in the oven? It's not a roll, it's a bun. Okay. <laughs> what did you pull out of the oven? A burnt roll. No, it's not a roll, it's a bun. Okay, a burnt bun. <laughs> no. It's a bun. Uh-huh. In the oven. Yeah. We have a bun in the oven. I just pulled it out. Cody, we're having a baby. Really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Only way that this video makes sense is that somehow this man must have gone his entire life having never heard the idiom bun in the oven because he was just not getting it like i can almost guarantee you that as soon as she like stopped filming and he like finished hugging her he was like oh my god this is amazing but seriously why did you put the bun in the oven <laughs> that baby is 100 percent coming late but anyway on to my next favorite video on the internet today I got your pads and I got your wings. Okay. Uh, why wings? Why do you need wings? What do you mean? You say you want wings, pads and wings. Pads with wings. Yeah, pads with wings. No, pads with wings. What, what, what do you mean? <laughs> I'm, that's what I got. <laughs> no, you. I, I mean pads with wings. That's literally what I got. And I got 36 of them. I know some of oh, you are just as confused as him right now. I was wondering why you got me so much. Uh, I, I thought you were <laughs> but just thank really you. Yeah. No, I meant 36 pads with wings. I got a couple of extra pads, but I did get 36 wings. <laughs> it's, you know, wings? No. Chicken wings? No, 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 no. Pads with wings. The pads have wings. So if you buy pads, you get wings. I'm no, so, no, you don't get wings if you get I'm pads. I'm so confused. Pads and wings. You wanted. You are hungry. I'm happy. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> and that, my friends, is a task failed successfully. No, this is this is so funny. Like task failed successfully. Absolutely. This is just like the guy who had clearly never heard the bun in the oven idiom before. This is a man who, if he has gone menstrual products shopping for his lady, she didn't use the wings. I don't use the wings. I hate the wings. I find them very aggravating. I would never request wings. So I, I, I'm sure that the guys that have dated me in the past, some of them might not know what the wings are either. But I don't know. I feel like I, if I have sent guys out, I've probably specifically told them, don't get them if they say wings. Don't get them with wings. Because I just hate them. But there's a follow-up to this too. There is a follow-up where she teaches him about the wings. And I have to show you guys that one. Too. This is huge. Can you be in this? This is huge. <laughs> you can go to the New York ball drop in this and be all that. Okay, find the wings. Are uh, these it? Yes. Sticky. Does it hurt? Let me take it off. Why would it hurt? It doesn't go on your skin. Does it go on your hair? <laughs> thought it sticks to the pubes? Pulls your hair. A wax strip. No, it's on your underwear. Oh my god, he thought that women were buying them with wings as like uh, a two birds, one stone situation. Like you, you get all the period blood collected and then you rip all your pubes out. That's what he thought. Oh my god, he's lucky he's cute. This part stay on, is it for like waterproofing? No, you take that off. This is all sticky. <laughs> oh, and this is sticky. She got that heavy flow though. It sticks to your underwear. Are you okay wearing these? Do they have anything better? <laughs> this is the best the scientists can come up with. Obviously everything's better. Look at the size of that thing. Could you imagine if she had her period without one of those? If she needs that size in her big age, knowing how much is going to come out of her? Imagine if she didn't use that thing, man. Paint the town red would have a whole new meaning. What is this? <laughs> this? 
<laughs> like a diaper? <laughs> That's exactly what we have to do. <laughs> all these scientists, they go to space and do all these things and what they come up with? <laughs> the wingless one. Well, they do have something better. Why are you showing me this? No, that doesn't really do anything. This is like an iPad. <laughs> this is like for going to sleep. And this is for like... When somebody gets a major surgery amputation, they need an organ out. They like put this to stop the bleeding. You ever like a uh, accidentally like, poop a little bit in there? <laughs> I'm serious. This is like huge. <laughs> like my Dude, that's actually a good question. I feel like that's the kind of question I would ask if I was a dude, to be honest. I'm sure some of you are wondering that too. Like, do girls ever just like, since they're already basically wearing a diaper anyway, do you ever just like no? No, we absolutely don't. And I can, if you'd like, I can explain in detail why. Like, we don't push the blood out. We can't feel it. it. We're just, we're just bleeding. Pee and poop, that's a, that's a conscious effort. You have to consciously decide, I'm gonna piss myself now. Most of us just can't break that. Not to mention, like, I'm sure you don't remember what it's like to be in diapers, but, like, if you're really soiled, you're gonna have to sit in that. That's not comfortable. That's the reason that most kids eventually get out of the diapers. They don't like that. So no, you're not gonna poop a little, you silly goose. I, I'm loving this though. I, I really can't make fun of the guy that much either because if you were to tell me about like ball science, I don't know much about balls. I feel like I learn something new about balls every year of my life. Like for example, um, one one dick thing that I learned recently from like all these years being with my husband and I just learned this one. Apparently most guys don't even use the little dick hole in boxers you know how in boxers and boxer briefs there's there's the little dick hole apparently like 70 percent of guys according to a poll that i did with my audience do not ever use the dick hole they just kind of like slide it down and like pull the junk out like that they just kind of like d do the old like slide and flop as opposed to like having to shove it through the little hole. That makes absolute sense. If I was a guy, I would not want to like shove my dick through the hole. This one is a pull them out. Just whip them out on people. That's what this one's for. And I heard that like some of them get crazy. Like there's so much science to try and keep your dick inside that you have to like push your dick to the left and then push it through another hole on the right. Are you kidding me? It's like a fun house magic mirror maze just to get your dick out. No, thank you. We're just sliding it down a little bit. But here's another crazy fact about dick hole guys is I, I did multiple polls on this. Okay. I was fascinated by, by this contact. Okay. So I asked, and this is what I find out 70% of guys, they just do the slide and flop. And then other, like 20, whatever, 20 some percent of guys, they use the dick hole. And so then I asked, well, now that you know that you're in the minority, are you going to do the slide and flop? Are you going to keep using the dick hole? And almost all of them are dick hole loyalists. They are like, no, I will use the dick hole until my dying breath. You will never get me to slide my boxers down a little bit and flop that sucker out. It is going through the hole. Not today, sir. Yeah, I just thought that was interesting. You know, so I can't, I can't knock the guy too much. I didn't know about the dick hole. By accident a little bit. <laughs> cause you know, cause you know it's not gonna get on your underwear. Like if you're lazy to get up. <laughs> it's a color coating here. Color coating? This is blue. That's really cool off. Does it numb it? Like, no. Oh, now he's like trolling. Wi-Fi signal. <laughs> Why is that there? <laughs> trolling with your phone. Oh my out. god! <laughs> Did the wings give it Wi-Fi? It's just the wings. You put them in your underwear, and then it holds everything together. What do you mean everything? What's, what's <laughs> the sketch was come falling out? Well, you you don't want it like you don't want the pads sliding around. To be fair. Like the ones that I've bought, they usually like stick well enough on to where I haven't needed the wings. But like, yeah, it, if you're wearing it for a little bit too long or it's like a hot summer day, then sometimes it like starts to slide and that's when it gets real precarious, you know, cause then you're in the danger zone. Everyone's in the danger zone. I feel really bad for you. 
Good day, bad day. <laughs> Wrong. Actually, it's the opposite. Um, this is a good day. Oh, is that what he said? I don't remember what he's which one he said was the good day, bad day. Bad day. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, so he was right. Yeah, this is a low flow day. This is a high flow day. This is days like one through four, one through five. This is day five, six, and seven, maybe, depending. Usually. I hope that you guys were getting are getting a good lesson here. You were not expecting that, but some good ones. Oh, this is a really good one. Oh, this one makes me so happy. This one will heal all of our souls. Hi, Mochi. He just came up through the window. Nice. Nice. Hold on, come here for a second. He got a fish on his birthday. How freaking awesome. Tell me about it. What happened? Look at you. That's a huge smile. That's so awesome. I switched to a jig. Oh, yeah? Jig head with a river worm on it. She doesn't know what that means. Oh, honey. And, uh, first cast. Oh, down. oh honey. I should go out there and fish. That's a beautiful, beautiful fish. Congratulations. Fish for dinner. Fish for dinner? Are you going to go? My birthday fish. It is your birthday fish. Only keep you got me, you got me get a bigger... That's a beautiful fish. Well, that's a steelhead, fish. right? This is steelhead. I don't know my species. Patry, no adipose fish. Nice. All right. I tried calling you. Oh, well, I'm sorry, but I was going to ask you. That's all right. I did it. I did. When can we have banana cream pie? Can we have... Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Honey, okay, can I get us a good picture? You know what I say? Pay and you shall receive. I just, oh God, this made me so happy because it's like you can tell from start to finish she knows nothing about fishing. She does not know what a steelhead trout is. She does not know what a jig is. And she is so excited nonetheless. Like out of her mind stoked about this for him because she just loves him. She just loves him and him being happy. She doesn't even care what it is that makes him happy. She will learn about it and she will involve herself because that is her man and she loves that man. I love Sue Bear. Like the, I want this couple to be my grandparents. I have plenty of grandparents, okay? But I want more. I, I just I just also want them to adopt me. Oh my god. And you could just tell, like, he was so excited. This guy probably has, like, seven other buddies who would know exactly how hard it was to catch that fish, how hard it is to find that fish, how difficult it was to set up the jig. I, I'll be honest, I don't know what a jig is, but I'm trying here because I'm inspired. But he, he cares about her first. He wants to see her. He wants to show her before anyone else. I just... That's the way that it's always supposed to be. Where are these ladies? Well, I'm pretty sure he, like, found her in the 70s. <laughs> I don't know if they even make them like that anymore, you know what I mean? <laughs>